Perks, thank you for joining us. We're speaking ahead of the Premier League Cup game against Bristol City, but first, this weekend is your two-year anniversary of being at City. I just wanted to ask you, how do you look back on the last two years? Quite proud, really, of uh, what we've achieved so far. Um, we've had some ups and downs in that time. Uh, the 13-game run, which was not too much fun, to be honest, but you learn and, and you live and you, and you get better. So um, I've absolutely loved being down here with the gaffer, the gaffer brought me in, and uh, yeah, um, I've had a, I've had a brilliant two years really, and learned so much in such a short piece of time, and it's gone pretty fast really. We've already asked Gary, but is there any moments that stand up for you? Any games in particular? Probably the cup games. The cup games they were good. Um, I had a Gary Caldwell T-shirt, Gary Caldwell out, so I've wore that a few times. <laughs> so that was quite fun. But yeah, it's been it's been a it's been a brilliant two years and a brilliant learning curve. Of course, you've also been living with Gary in the city centre, and we see you before every match. Have a bit of banter with the fans as you walk in. What's it been like living for you in the southwest and interacting with the people around? Oh, it's been brilliant. Do you know me and Gary both commit to the area. Um, we haven't moved our families down. My plan was to move the family down, and then um, we kind of we kind of didn't do that. We thought me and Gary would work best if. We live together and, and went down that kind of route, so it is it's it's fantastic and um, just really enjoyable. Back in the summer, Dan Green obviously rejoined the club as lead PDP coach. How did that affect your role? As I know, before you were under twenty three coach, and now you're a bit more of a first team coach. Yeah, so I've had before it was my first job into coaching, so um, I had very little experience and was learning on the job, and then. Um, Obviously, Dan Green's come in to help me, really, because he's a more experienced coach, even though I'm probably 10 years older than him. He's a more experienced coach, and he's here to help me, and I'm, I'm to help him a little bit, I suppose. But, um, yeah, he's been, he's been brilliant, Dan Green, and, 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 and Kevin, all the staff, uh, Kevin Gawley coach, uh, Kevin Nick. So, yeah, I can't thank them enough, really. Of course, though, you're still obviously involved at a few different levels. And um, RMP was telling us the other day since Nicky Jose left the club, you've been helping with the eight, under 18s, which must be a good insight for you into the next generation. Yeah, it's brilliant. I help out with the 16s as well. Um, and now Nicky's left, uh, the 18s has come up. So uh, I, I can help where I can, really. And, and, and it's as much for me as it is, is the lads, really, to get some time coaching on the grass. Uh, with the 18, 16, whoever it might be. But, yeah, the more hours I can get, the better I can be and um, the more experience I get and then hopefully do more coaching within the first team. That will, of course, probably help you going into Monday's 21s fixture. As we've seen already in the games against Bromley and Norwich, a bit of a varied lineup with first teamers playing alongside PDP players and under-18s. Can you give us any hints of what the team may look like? Uh, no, we're going to keep our... Cards close to our chest, me and Greener. We're undefeated so far, so we don't want to be giving Bristol any tips. But there will be a mixture um, of uh, first-team boys playing who need the minutes and the young boys, a couple of young boys who are on loan will play as well. We played Bristol City, obviously, at the High Performance Centre back in the summer in a pre-season friendly. Will you be able to use that game at all? There were some 21s players for them playing in that one. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll have a look back at it and see, see what we think. But... Um, uh, we'll train Sunday for match prep for the game on Monday, so we'll all be in Sunday, which will be brilliant. It's a busy weekend for you then. Like, what's obviously you're being on Sunday? We'd be able to do much preparation on the robins themselves. Yeah, we'll we'll look at them and see what's what. Uh, Greener will go through that. We'll have a meeting and highlight the strengths and weaknesses and what we're good at and what we're not so good at. So, like you said, with two games unbeaten in the competition so far, currently top of the group. We've got a busy few weeks with the game on Monday and then travelling to Norwich next week. It's a long old journey, but you'd be looking to really reinforce those wins into the group. Yeah, I think it's important to win and it becomes a habit winning. Uh, so that's what we're trying to win still. Obviously, uh, there's a process with that and how you win and, and what we do and the, the gaffer's philosophy. Um, so, so, yeah, but uh, we'll be looking to win and... Finally, I just wanted to check. I know you were a bit under the weather at the weekend from your bout of cup fever. Have you recovered or is it still raging? No, I'm all right now. I've, uh, <laughs> I've recovered fully. So uh, I've, I've told that story many a time when I used to play in the FA Cup and I'd, I'd ring the uh, physio up in the morning. That was the joke and say, the physio, oh, I'm feeling terrible. I've had the shivers all night. And then I'd go, oh, I'm only joking. I've uh, just got a bit of cup fever. So 
that just explains that joke. <laughs>